So now in comes the feds, you know. Uh, when did you get to the first whiff that, that these people was on your ass? You know what I mean? Oh, well, I know that, you know what I mean, from the streets coming in. You know what I mean? They never liked me there. And, uh, you know, I was a target before music. You know what I mean? And, and, and I understood, okay, I'm a target, you know, probably rightfully so. But, uh, you know, when I... Uh, okay, right now we have J Prince Sr., right? Talking about being a target by the FBI and by the feds. You get what I'm saying? And this is really crazy because if you think about it, you really understand that this man is into like a lot of mess. You get what I'm saying? That is a lot of mess that has to do with J Prince and mob ties and everything that has to do with Prince family. And this is really crazy. But before we get into it, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Cause this is about to go crazy right now. You get what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. So, you know, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything remains allegedly. You get what I'm saying? So, J Prince Senior is talking about being targeted by the feds. You know what it means when the feds are targeting you, right? It means that they are in your business now. You get what I'm saying? It means that they got their eyes on you. It means that, you know, they've been looking up to things that has to do with you, right? They've been searching social media, they've been looking in the streets, they've been, you know, you've been into a lot of mess that has to do with your name. And right now, not just J Prince Senior, right? Not just J Prince Senior. Now J Prince Junior Mob Ties is included. You get what I'm saying? Mike Prince, Jazz Prince, everyone that is in the Prince family right they are all included i remember that this family has been going on and first talking about an open mother investigation on open interviews you guys can go look it up not one not two not three they even got some information that stated very clear that you know this was uh miguel ben's statement to the to the police to the houston police department right they got the, the, the receipts. They got it. They showed it a million dollar worth of game. They were reading out every statement that was written by Miguel Benz that has to do with them. So J Prince Senior got mad and got angry because Miguel Benz have to mention his name and he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that at all. You get what I'm saying? He doesn't like that. So, you know, it's really crazy. But one funny thing you all have to know is this, you know, no man is above the law, that is for sure. Nobody is above the law. No matter who you are, no matter what you have done, no matter how much you got, rich, poor, middle class, you know, no one is above the law. At the end of the day, the feds are just waiting on you, targeting you, waiting for the day you go and fall into their trap. And that's the situation that J Prince Senior is talking about right now. That they don't like him. You know, they don't like him over there. That the feds never liked him. Right? They don't like him over there. You are, you guys just heard it, right? He said that they don't like him over there. That the feds don't like him. So he knows. You get what I'm saying? He knows. He knows that the feds doesn't like him. Which is really crazy, by the way. You get what I'm saying? Which is really crazy because, you know, we are thinking that he said that we are the mob bars, you know, we are this, we are that, we are mob ties, we are mob buzzes, we control the street of Houston and, you know, a lot more crazy things that he said and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, this man is a target by the FBI, right? The feds are targeting him because he got some affiliation that has to do with the street. He also said a million dollar worth of game that, you know, a lot of police department are saying that he was a starting people in Houston, saying that people has to check in and stuff like that, right? That's what he also said. J Prince Senior said it. 
<laughs> and that is crazy fam that is really crazy you get what i'm saying that is really crazy because you know i'm looking at this man i'm like oh damn he doesn't know what's coming do you all think that jay prince really knows what's coming because you know charleston why was saying that jay prince is no more boss right they don't have the credibility of a mafia because everything they've been talking about is supposed to be a thing that should get them locked up but you know they are still talking about an open mother investigation of takeoff and stuff like that you know it's a lot of crazy things it's a lot of crazy things but we all have to think about it for us to have realization that these people are not who they say they are and we have to bear that in mind you get what i'm saying and you know a lot of you all that come on on youtube under the comment section to talk crazy about jay prince and stuff like that saying that he's this and he's that and stuff like that you all can't even prove it right you can't prove it it's not proven you get what i'm saying it's not proven i've searched everywhere it's not proven the only thing that i've seen that jay prince did was to get back a chain think nba young boy right yeah NBA young boys chain, he got it back. But that doesn't satisfy you to be a mob boss or you know have a credibility of a mafia. Yeah, that doesn't give you that, you know, that doesn't give you that, you know, that credibility. You get what I'm saying? And that's how it is. You get what I'm saying? That's how it is. So let's think about this for a minute. The fairs are all over J Prince Senior right now. You know, when Wakwondre said, you know, the speculation that came up on Clubhouse that Wakwondre said that J Prince has been arrested for, you know, a, a threatening offset, right? And he was speaking about it and J Prince actually replied and responded and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? He was, he was lying down, you know, beside his pool and stuff like that. Let me tell you all one thing, right? In every rumor, there is an actum of truth. In every rumor, there is an actum of truth. Because the person that speculated that message would have heard some from the street that said the same thing, right? And right here, we have a clip of Jay Prince himself talking about, you know, the first not liking him over there and stuff like that. So we have to come to the realization that, you know, the first are watching him. And it might not take so long for them to catch up with him get what i'm saying that's how it goes but if you are new to the channel do me a favor subscribe to the channel you get what i'm saying smash the like button turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to notif get notified whenever i drop a new video because it's really going crazy i'm about to break this all down remember everything said in the video still remains allegedly you get what i'm saying everything said in the video still remains allegedly but we have to speak up in some things that goes on in the black community, right? Because go to Houston, they say that J Prince only made um, black people to check in and stuff like that. And I'm wondering, why don't he also make white rappers and, you know, white artists to check in whenever they come to Houston? We have Eminem, you know, doing shows in Houston back in the days. You know, we had so many of them, Justin Bieber, we had so many of them doing shows over there, but he never made them to check in, but he can talk about making Jay-Z to check in because he knows that nothing is going to happen about it. But it's really crazy. Remember, everything still remains allegedly. But share your opinions in the comment section. Tell me what you all think about this crazy situation. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. See you guys on the next clip.